Welcome to Magnifier's first video game review. We took the opportunity to create a review for a highly anticipated blockbuster game called Evolve. We were lucky enough to be chosen for their early access big alpha multiplayer demo. Evolve is a team-based FPS shooter that is being published by 2K Games and developed by Turtle Rock Studios. Turtle Rock was the developer of the hit series Left 4 Dead. Keep this in mind during this review. In this alpha version of the game, you get one game mode to play called Hunt. Hunt is a 4 vs 1 match. The group of 4 distinct character classes must hunt down one powerful monster. All 5 players are human, though sometimes the AI kicks in for dropped players. It is very important to keep each team member alive. Any member that dies can make the match more difficult and easier for the monster. As previously mentioned, there are four distinct classes, Medic, Support, Assault, and Trapper. All four classes are necessary to capture the monster and win the match. When you lose one of those classes, it makes the multiplayer match much more difficult. Let's first go over the Assault class. The Assault class is a typical FPS shooter type character. He has the strongest guns, and he's really there to deal the damage onto the monster. Um, He's also good at um, a few defensive techniques. He has these mines he can put down that can kind of stop the monster from attacking at certain points. He can also deal regular machine gun damage or machine gun fire. And he also can shield himself so he can stay in the game longer, um, which can be helpful in very intense battles. next character class is the support class. The support class has the ability to shield one player at a time, which can be very important, important in certain matches. Um, he also has the ability to cloak the whole team as long as they're within his cloaking range. And then um, the support guy, he also has this uh, gun that can shoot, it, it kind of like cuts through enemies, so it's very powerful. And then more, most importantly, he has this um, air strike which can deal a lot of damage as long as whatever he's attacking is within that range. The next class, which is similar to the support class, is the medic class. The medic has a medic gun that can heal a character one at a time from a distance. Then the medic has an ability to heal herself and the people around her. And then um, the medic also has the sniper rifle, which when you shoot the monster puts weak points on it that your teammates can shoot at, and it can deal more damage. And then the other thing the sniper rifle could do, you can have um, a tracking dart, which helps you find the monster. The last, but in my opinion, most important class is the trapper. The trapper has the ability to create an arena that can trap the monster in for roughly about three minutes, which makes it easier for you to deal some damage on him without him getting away. Um, another thing that the trapper can do, the trapper has um, kind of like a little pistol. It's pretty weak, but you can deal some damage with that. And then uh, the trapper also has these anchor points that they can put out there to help keep the monster at bay so you can deal a lot of damage so he doesn't get away. And then the trapper has a special um, companion called Daisy which helps find the monster when you're lost and you don't know where to look for him. It also can revive your teammates. The last class of course is the monster which I'm not going to get any specifics about you know his specific moves or whatnot or his mechanics. What I will go over is the fact that when you're the monster you're basically all by yourself so you need to do what you can to quickly strengthen up, evolve to your third form, and there's different monsters out there, so my best recommendation is, you know, try to stay away from the human team as much as possible until you feel you're strong enough to take them on. Once five players get set in a match and start the game, um, when you get off the dropship, which how the game intros, um, you'll find out that you'll be doing a lot of walking and running around with your teammates. Um, I highly recommend that you stay with your teammates, even though this running and r jumping or whatever process um, takes a long time. Uh, make sure you mark points to help your teammates go in the right direction. Um, and that's really it. 
there's not a whole lot else to the game, but I mean, if you played Left 4 Dead, you can understand why it's important to stay in a team in this game. Um, when you get separated, and let's say, for example, you get attacked by the monster, it really doesn't help you at all, and your chances of dying are pretty high, and then if you die, the chances of your team winning after that is pretty slim. Evolve is a Crytek 4 engine game, and it's very graphically intense on your system. Um, I'm actually running this game on a laptop with a uh, Intel i7 uh, third gen quad core processor with a GTX 660 Ti equivalent graphics card. And these are with the highest settings, you can see how slow it is. I'm probably averaging 25 frames per second. I just want to quickly show um, how the game ends. I, I like this. It pretty much reviews how you moved around and how things went in the game. It's a pretty cool feature. But anyway, I, I think overall this is a um, it's a good game to try out, especially if you like co-op games. I think it's very promising. So if you're into co-op, definitely give it a shot and uh, look for it um, February 10th. I'd like to thank Tarot Studios and Take-Two Interactive for giving me a chance to play this game in advance.